Today is July 4th. I'm getting ready. I'm going uh, to go set out some cameras on a, I'm hoping what's going to be a good spot for a buck. Last year, towards the end of the year, I found a huge rub line, a big rub line. I mean, just because there's a big rub line doesn't mean there's a big buck, but it means he's probably pretty aggressive because, I mean, it was probably, I would say the rub line itself was probably 600 yards long. I mean, so he was definitely using it. And a big aggressive buck is a lot easier to hunt than one that's, that doesn't put in a lot of sign. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna see if this is his core area. I'm gonna put out some cameras and, you know, I know it's, it's really early. It just gives you something else to do in the middle of the day. So hopefully it works out. I've got sprayed down for ticks really good. I mean, it's terrible this time of year. I try to always like drench my clothes in it and spray, let them dry off, and then right before I get in the woods, I want to spray them down again after I put them on with just a little bit. And you're still going to pull ticks off of you. Hopefully it won't be as bad. Alrighty. All right, so I'm out here on this natural trail. Like I said, I got a thicket. It's nearly straight north from me. And it wraps around this whole edge back. And then, there's no uh, water trail. And when I say water trail, I mean it's no pipe water trail. They used to run water from something. It runs all the way down, and it's a, it's a, but it's probably 40 yards that way, up towards the side of the hill. And it slowly gents down, and then, so in between this, in between there, it's just like a, a natural, and there's a creek bank right here, so it's just like a, a natural little sleeve right here of just woods. Well, it's like, you know, they, they want to be close to there that way. I don't know what it is about that trail, but they like to be close to it. They won't hardly ever really use it, though. You'll, you'll see them cross it, but that's about it. And they're all in that thicket. It's one of the best thickets on this piece of public land that i found. And that's what I always like to do. I, I, I like to find the thicket and get in close, because that's where you're going to find the deer. In the middle of the day or going back to, you're, you're always better off, I feel like, finding the thicket. Find the bed and then find the food. That's how I always found out. I could be totally wrong. But it's super hot out here today. It's the 4th of July. So I'm just hoping I'm going to leave this out here for a while. And hopefully we'll get, you know, that big buck that I'm hoping is still in here. I, you know, and when I say I never had a picture of him, but I mean, you could just tell by his sign. If he wasn't a big buck, he was an aggressive buck. And an aggressive buck to me as I done said, it's a hundred times easier to hunt. If you're going to single out, you know, a big deer in an area, if you can find that aggressive one, then you're going to always going to be better off because he's going to be laying down sign. He's going to be checking that sign to make sure nobody else is messing with him. And, you know, so that's what I'm really hoping is happening here. You know, because last year, like I said, I know it was over a quarter mile. It could have been a couple miles. I mean, it, it plumbed across that, you know, this old public land road that I was on and went way back in towards the other way and it come all the way back to this side and went up a couple, you know, you know, like he had big sign and a couple little old side hollers. So, and he, and he kept running this little, this little, it's almost like a bench line in front of this creek bed. And then, you know, like this whole little bench line that's got side hollers all the way down it. You know, he's got the main holler in the bottom but he's running this bench line making sign everywhere. I walked it for forever, but it was in the almost in the middle of the rut. I just happened to walk in here, and I found all this sign. So I tried to hunt it the best I could, but it's hard to get on a deer in a brand new spot when you're not exact, you know. So I just I hunted all I could. I didn't see nothing, but a lot of sign I seen. You know, and every day I was in there, I find more even fresher sign, like where I just missed him. So hopefully this year I'm gonna get in here good and early, and I'm gonna really start scouting out this spot. Now, right now, after I set this camera out, I'm going to try my best to wait at least two weeks. Probably going to wait a month. And then I'm really going to start getting in here and start trying to figure some things out. I know a few things about this spot. I actually walked that thicket out pretty good right at the, you know, right after season in the, in the dead of winter. Jumped a lot of deer. I mean, I didn't see them, but, you know, you could hear them run off. They're definitely using that thicket. Right now, they're probably even, hardly even having to come out of it. But I found a couple good trails coming off this edge, and that's why I'm going to try to just see what's in here. Maybe, maybe he's using it right now. Maybe he's just staying his little his big tail in the thicket. I don't know. 
but hopefully we can get you know zeroed in on a good deer in here because I mean I just I, I've always had better luck hunting an aggressive buck than just hunting the area for just because you see a big buck in the area and you know he's in there if he ain't leaving no sign he is tremendously hard to hunt especially on public land it's almost impossible but if you got that one deer that is laying down that sign and you can get on him well I mean once you go finding that sign you can just put the cameras up and start hunting that sign you know at the right times so that's what we're going to try to do now what I like to do to get my camera set up just like you see it figure out that's exactly where I want it I always try to get it facing north I know there is times that you can't and that's fine you do the best you can but that that way you won't have as much sunlight but I like to get it set up and before I turn it on I wipe I walk back to where I want you know I thinking the deer are gonna come from and I just look at it and I try to you know I try to guess where that sensor is coming through that way because I've had anybody who you know who does this and you got your trail cameras way off and you're not checking them all the time you come back to a camera that hasn't got anything or you forget to turn it on or you forget to do this it's heartbreaking i mean you you know you've sat here for two or three weeks just can't wait to go check this camera then you get back to it and there ain't nothing on it so i always now i triple check everything i just heard a deer snort maybe we're actually in the money we'll find out all right well I'm going to get this thing turned on for y'all. I use a Bushnell myself. That is one of my favorite cameras. I fell in love with the way they take video. Everybody's different. There's a million different great cameras out there. So, and they're fairly simple to use too. And for the money, I just really think they're a good camera. Make sure it's all the way on. Nothing's come on. You got your light on? All right. Now then, you're good to go. And hopefully I'll be coming back in a couple weeks and we'll have some great bucks on here. 